You have set up and configured your new color touch panel and try to dispense product for the first time and no flavoring is dispensed. Only base product. This is more than likely an issue with the switch not being assigned to the correct port. I will explain the way the flavor brush unit and color touch panel work together to make all this make sense. Most Taylor units will have an internal switch port. The color touch panel will need to be connected to that switch port either with a wireless RF box or by connecting a wire directly from the touch panel to the switch port on the Taylor unit. When the draw handle is pulled, the switch port is activated, which sends a signal to the touch panel. This will tell the touch panel to send the information you selected, flavors, sizes, etc., to the driver board connected to the flavor burst unit. The pumps will then be activated and the flavor will begin to be dispensed. You will need to know exactly how you want the switch to communicate to the touch panel before you set up your touch panel in the Equipment Setup Wizard. Let's go to the Equipment Setup Wizard and discuss the different options for setting up your switch. I will skip through the Equipment Setup Wizard to the last page. If you scroll down, you will see an option for assigning a switch input to each spout. Switch port 1 is typically the default when you receive your touch panel. If you use this method, you will connect a wire from switch port 1 on the color touch panel directly to the internal switch port on the freezer. One very important thing to note is that the first switch port from the left on the color touch panel is designated as switch port 2, and the second switch port from the left is switch port 1. Make certain your wire is connected to the correct port assigned in the equipment setup wizard. Sometimes you will connect a wire to the touch panel and no flavoring will be dispensed because the setting is designated to the wrong port or to a wireless switch. The color touch panel also has the ability to connect to the switch with a wireless RF signal. When using this method, a box with a wireless transmitter is typically connected to the internal switch port on the Taylor freezer. Now when the handle is drawn, the wireless RF box will send a signal to the color touch panel telling it to start dispensing the flavors chosen. There are actually two wireless receivers in the touch panel. This is so that you can have more than one machine connected wirelessly to the touch panel. If you do have more than one machine connected to the touch panel, make sure they are assigned to different wireless switches. If you need to use wireless switch 2, the internal dip switch settings in the wireless box will need to be changed. Contact Flavor Burst Company to learn more or check out the support page on the Flavor Burst website. One final note, there is a communication setup page on the touch panel and an option to communicate via Bluetooth. This does not allow the switch to connect to the touch panel via Bluetooth. This option is programmed in the touch panel in order to provide for future developments. Therefore, make sure you have serial selected on the communications setup page.